Hey everybody, um, I'm so sorry. Um, I haven't been doing tutorials lately, so um, today I'm going to make that up to you and do a really sick tutorial, um, advanced, advanced lightning. And it's not the generate lightning, it's, um, you can say it's from scratch, but we are using the effect uh, generate lightning, but we're not using the normal one, and we're going to make all these cool changes to it, and um, hope you like it. Alright, so basically I have a 15 second composition here, and um, first thing we're going to do is make a new black solid, aim at lightning, oh, whatever, and I think I spelled that wrong, and go to effect, generate advanced lightning, this is the second one, this is not the just generate lightning, this is the advanced lightning, which is pretty, pretty insane, um, change the lightning type from direction to strike, and now, the com as you can see, if you play it, it's frozen in time, and you're like, that. what's up with that? It's pretty gay, I mean. So once lightning, that cannot move. But this little um, effect right here, connect uh, connectivity state, makes it move. So we're going to stopwatch for zero, and we're going to go to the last one, and we're going to go 120. And as you can see, it can move, which is pretty cool. It's not that gay anymore. So, um, maybe a little faster, for 15 seconds at 120. But oh well, we're going to go to the glow settings, the glow opacity from 50 to 0. Forking from 50, 25 to 55. Decay 0.5. And composition on original, which is very, very important. Now, we're going to make a new adjustment layer. Layer, new adjustment layer and now we're going to go to effect stored turbulent splice the amount from 50 to 90 the size to 2 and now go to your first frame and click the evolution button and it's at 0 last frame put it at 1 and now we're going to make go to effect again on the same layer um, distort wave warp Close this up. Uh, wave width from 40 to 50. Now, from the first frame, the phase should be stopwatch. Zero on the first frame, negative two on the last frame. So let me show you what you have so far. It's pretty sweet, but it'll be much better. I promise you that. When we're finished, now I'm gonna just make a adjustment here. Besides 120, I'm going to do 115 instead. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to go to a uh, layer, new adjustment layer. And now this is the adjustment layer with all the insane effects, so it might slow your computer down just a little. Um, set this one to screen, repeat pixel edges, set the blurriness to 8. And now duplicate this three times. So, 1, 2, 3. And now on the third one, it's going to be at 8. I mean, it's going to be your, it's going to be set as your third adjustment layer. Set it from 8 to 16. Set your second one, which is your second to last one, to 32. And set your last one to 180 to balance everything out. As you can see, it balances everything out, but it gives it also a cool looking glow. Which is pretty cool. Now, the one thing that you're asking that's missing is, alright, where's the color? Well, for color, we're going to be using a very cool technique. And it's very simple. And... It's as easy. It's just very easy. So we're gonna make um, a new adjustment layer again, and we're gonna go to Effect Color Correction, Color Balance. Preserve the luminosity. Can't do it without it. <clears throat> Set the midtones for blue to 100. The highlight to blue 100. And now the green balance 45. The green midtone to 45. No, actually not that high, about 30 for the green mid-tone. Now, 
This is just the original lightning that I made my video in with the wall. But this one's a little bit better because I've upgraded a couple things on it. It's pretty cool. And now you can totally just um, mess with these settings. If I wanted um, green lightning or... Yeah. Green mid-tones. Green. I don't know why you don't want green lightning, but that's cool too. And maybe a little bit of blue in there. pretty cool all right thanks for watching this um i'm gonna make making another tutorial like right now and um after i'm done with this one so thank you for watching and goodbye